Superiority by a margin tests are used when you not only want to show that one group's mean is higher or lower than another group's mean, but you further want to show that the mean is higher or lower by at least a given amount. Suppose that a test is to be conducted to determine if a new treatment improves bone density. The density realized by the current treatment is about 2.3 milligrams per centimeter with a standard deviation of around 0.6. Clinicians decide that if a new treatment increases bone density by more than 10% or 0.23 milligrams per centimeter, it generates a significant health benefit. They will assume a range of values for the standard deviation of the new treatment group. The researchers would like to know the sample size needed to achieve 90% power with an alpha level of 0.025. They wish to compare sample size requirements when assuming the new treatment bone densities are between 2.7 and 3.3 milligrams per centimeter. It is expected that double the number of patients will be available for the current treatment as compared to the new treatment. The first part of the report shows the needed sample size for each parameter combination. The sample size chart gives a visual comparison for the varying standard deviations in assumed mean differences. For example, there is a dramatic drop in sample size requirements if the new treatment bone density mean is assumed to be 2.8 rather than 2.7. To learn more about this sample size procedure or the hundreds of other sample size tools in PASS, see the help documentation that is installed with the software and is also available online at ncss.com. If you are new to PASS and would like to learn more about it, you can download the free trial.